Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PlayStation 4. GTA 5 is an action adventure game developed by Rockstar North. The game starts out with Michael, Trevor and Brad taking on a heist that goes south pretty quickly. After this botched heist, the game fast forwards several years to the present day. Michael is in witness protection in Los Santos where he meets Franklin, a young kid who's trying to make money and get out of the hood. The third protagonist is Trevor, and once his path crosses Michael's and Franklin's, they form a team and that they take on a variety of heists and missions. You can switch between any of the three main characters. Michael is your typical retired con who's getting itchy feet. He's the leader of the pack and he's a bit like De Niro from Heat but with a lot more personal drama. Franklin is a young kid from the hood who's looking for bigger scores than the nickel and dime jobs he's doing with his gangbanger friends. You also have Chop, a dog Franklin looks after and you can teach Chop new skills that will help you in certain missions. And the third character is Trevor. Trevor is the sociopath of the group and is a complete lunatic. Basically anything Trevor touches is going to end badly for someone or everyone. But he is absolute comedy gold and the best character in the game by a long distance. So what is the game like to play? Well it's a large open world game with an absolute enormous amount of content. The main story revolves around the three main characters building their empire, taking on missions and completing heists. And the mission variety is excellent. Yes, a lot of them involve driving somewhere and shooting someone, but there are lots of other creative ones involving reconnaissance, assassinations, taking on drug gangs. Honestly, the variety is absolutely amazing and there is something in here for everybody. All your characters have cell phones and these are integrated into the vast majority of things you can do in the game. You can quick save, take photos, call friends, search the internet, it's full of functionality. As with previous instalments, GTA 5 has an abundance of mini games and side activities. You can play tennis, darts or golf, you can go to a strip club, enter a triathlon, go hunting or just hang out with your friends. You can play the stock market, buy properties, go to a shooting range to increase your stats. Honestly, the options are almost endless. You can improve your stats by doing certain activities like running, fighting or shooting. The wide array of guns available at ammunition is very impressive and you can buy attachments and mods like flashlights, suppressors and a whole host of other things. You can customise your character by heading to the barbershop for a new haircut or facial hairstyle. You can buy clothing from a variety of stores from low-end bargain bucket to high society designer brands. You can buy cars, steel cars, mod cars, you can take them to the garage and respray them to install new parts to improve their performance. The game has a wide range of enemies from drug cartels, police, special forces, gangbangers, motorbike gangs and government agencies. So overall there are so many things to do and customise it could keep you busy for months. On the whole, the controls are fine, but the character movement is a little unresponsive and awkward, which at times can impact the combat. The way the character moves in relation to the analogue sticks just feels a bit off and not as responsive as it could have been, which is a bit of a pain sometimes, but generally you can get around it, but if you're on a mission that requires real pinpoint timing in something, it can be a problem. But yeah, overall, it's a very impressive game world with a huge amount of content, great story, great acting, interesting characters, and so, so much variety. Graphically, the game does look a little bit dated, but you know, this is a few years old now, so you have to bear that in mind. But saying that, the environments are very detailed and it really does feel like the developers have put a lot of time and effort into the construction of the city. The different regions of the map really look realistic and they feel well cultivated. The ragdoll effects and the character animations are pretty good, but the physical movement of your character could have been a little bit smoother. The game doesn't have a photo mode as we know them in 2020, but it does have Snapmatic. Snapmatic is basically part of your camera phone and you can take shots of the world around you or do selfies or mirror selfies. You can add filters, you can zoom, change your facial expression or position and a few other minor alterations, but it is a little bit limited. However, there is a way to take photos in this game like the other more modern photo modes. To do this, you need to record your in-game footage via the pop-up menu. Then, once you have a recording saved, go to the Rockstar Editor. So what is the Rockstar Editor? Okay, it's an editing suite where you can go and create projects with your recorded video. You can add markers and change the camera angles, effects and all different things for each marker. 
So it's like being able to direct your own film and portray it in a cinematic way, but it also lets you take photos of the action at any point during the video recording. Just find the moment you like, set the camera up, set all the effects up, the aperture, the filters, etc. Then click R3 and the HUD will disappear. Then do your screenshot, voila, you have a photo of your action. The good thing about this mode is you can review the video at any time so it avoids that slowdown of action during actual gameplay. You can come back anytime and re-edit the footage anytime you want. The only issue is you have to start recording at some point so you need to consciously know you're going to do some photo worthy activity. So it's not as easy as a regular photo mode but it actually is a little bit more comprehensive and it maybe will help your skills as a photographer and cinematographer because you can do it at a leisurely pace at a later time. So it's definitely worth a look. I think in the next GTA they will put a proper photo mode in it but this is a workaround and it's, it's fun and also I would recommend video editing if you're interested in video editing and directing and cinematography this is kind of like a good educational tool where you can practice all of those things without having to leave your house with cameras and get people to do stuff so it could be a good learning tool for potential cinematographers. The sound, music and voice in GTA 5 is pretty much unrivaled. The music is amazing and you've got a huge variety of radio stations with great DJs and so many cool pieces of music to listen to. The musical score is also pretty good during the story based scenes. The voice acting is amazing and the characters they're really well crafted, the writing is great and it's, it's really funny at times. The game has just such a great sense of humour and it's tongue in cheek most of the time. But you know you do get some serious stuff but most of the time it's a little bit comedy, like a bit of comedy value. But for me Trevor in particular stands out. The voice actor who worked as Trevor did such a great job and you really feel like Trevor's a real person and you never question the characters as they really do just fit into the game story very well. Okay so what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's one of the most varied and well crafted games on the PS4. The story missions, side missions and variety of activities are mind blowing. The music is awesome. Trevor is the best character in any GTA game, maybe in any game. The game world feels alive and it's incredibly well structured. The customization options are excellent. The Rockstar editor really lets you get creative and I would really recommend putting some time into that if that's your kind of thing. And finally, it's just amazing value for money. What's bad? The character controls are a little bit loose and not as responsive as they could be. Some of the missions are a bit samey and there are a lot of long driving sections to get from A to B which can get a little bit tedious sometimes. Okay, so what's the verdict? GTA 5 was a groundbreaking game when it came out, but today in 2020 it still stands up as one of the best games money can buy. It's huge, richly detailed and full of laughs, excitement and it's just a fantastically enjoyable experience. I played it originally on the Xbox 360, put so much time into it, explored the game relentlessly and I just absolutely adored it. I haven't played it in a few years so coming back to it now on the PS4 it's such a good game, so much to enjoy and it's just funny and it's, there's a little bit of something in there for everybody. If you love your cars, you can mod cars to death, you can get your gun fans, you can fly planes, you can do, I mean even the mini games like the darts, like if you like darts, that's great fun as well. Like there's just so much in here, it makes me really excited to see what GTA 6 is going to be like. So yeah, I would recommend this game absolutely, fantastic. So my score for GTA 5 is 9.5 out of 10. It's an amazing game with so many things to do and see. And I have to finish the review with a special mention for Trevor because he's just one of my favourite characters in any game. He's an absolute scumbag, lunatic, crazy person. Like wow, he's just like bonkers beyond belief. But he, he steals the show, he is the standout, you know, he makes this game so much better. I kind of feel like they should take Trevor and do a GTA spin-off and make a game where it's just about Trevor because he's got so much value. You can see like a, a spin-off GTA game for Trevor, it would, you know, he's too good not to. They've, they've got to do something else with him in future, I hope. Okay, so we're done. That was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.